Okay, now we get to our last type of uh, transformation that we will look at, and that is an enlargement or a compression. Okay, so here they tell us to consider the diagram below and plot the uh, A, B, and C accents, the image of A, B, and C if it is compressed by a factor of negative a half. Now once again, all that that means is that each one of the coordinates gets multiplied with negative a half. Okay, so it's it's very simple if we just get the transformation rule first, apply this to that, so we get negative a half that multiplies the x as well as negative a half that multiplies the y. Okay, so negative a half times x is now done for each one of these coordinates. Okay, let's just first of all number these. This is 4, negative 3, so 4, negative 3, that means that's A. B is negative 2, 4, so that's B. And C is 3 and 1. Okay, so let's find A accent, B accent, and C accent, and let's do it in a nice green so a accent would now be four times negative a half which means it's negative two okay multiplying by half is the same as dividing it by two so it's negative two negative three times negative a half gives me positive one and a half okay half of three is one and a half negative and negative gives me positive that gives me A. Let's plot it immediately. Let's see where it lies, okay? So, we get negative 2 and a half. So, there's negative 2 and 1 and a half. That's there. Okay, that's my A accent. Let's do B accent. B accent is negative 2 times a, a negative a half is 2 divided by 2, which gives me 1. Negative and negative gives me positive 1. Okay, 4 would become negative 2, as we saw in the first coordinate as well. So 1 and negative 2. X is 1, Y is negative 2. Okay, here we go. This is B accent. And then finally, C accent, we have 3, which is divided by 2 and multiplied by negative. So it becomes negative 1 and a half. And... 1 becomes just 1 times negative a half is just negative a half. Okay, so we get negative 1 and a half. Oh, I did A wrong. Okay, yeah, forgive me. I did A wrong. Okay, negative 1 and a half. So A is wrong. A should be here. It's positive 1 and a half. Sorry, guys. Okay, cool. There we go. That's A accent. Apologies. And then C is now negative one and a half and uh, a half. Okay, negative one and a half and a half. I think it's about there. Okay, that should be C accent. And now trying to connect all of these dots. Let's see if I can do that. Okay, let me air practice first. I see that's not working. Okay, so there, that is done, and uh, this time you can definitely see that our image is much smaller than our object, the original uh, shape. Uh, therefore, this is not a rigid transformation, because remember, rigid transformations preserve shape and size. This is not a rigid transformation, okay? Now, the second part of this question... Uh, they tell us that the area of triangle ABC, in other words, the original area, is 17 squared units, okay, whatever units we're working with, okay. What is the area of triangle A accent, B accent, and C accent? What is this one's uh, area? Now, it is very tempting to say, well, everything was halved, so it must, the area must also be halved, okay, but that's not true. If you look at at this whole triangle here, for example, okay, sorry, this this uh, square on which I've plotted the uh, the graph. If we halve the each each side length, then I get this. Okay, half of the width is there, and half of the height is there. So I halved the x and the y's, and 
and this is the shape that has remained okay now do you notice that the area here is four times smaller than the original area in other words when I change uh, by, a f by a factor the area is changed by that factor squared okay so we have to square that multiplied the 17 squared units and that gives me negative one squared is uh, sorry negative a half squared is a quarter and so the area is 17 divided by 4 which I think is 4 and a quarter okay uh, yeah which is equal to 4 comma 1 5 squared units And that's it. Okay, I hope it made sense to you. Uh, remember, the reason why it's not halved is because both the x and the y was changed. If just the x was multiplied but by a half, the area would be halved. But the area is halved because x is multiplied by a half, and the area is a halved again because y was multiplied by a half. So the area was actually uh, divided with 4. Okay. Uh, I don't know how many more different ways to say that in, but I'm sure you get it because uh, you guys are more smart. Okay, see you in the next video.